Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to build a wind staff in Origins and this is also going to work in Origins Remastered in Black Ops 3 Zombies which makes me super super happy that everything is like the same and I will be showing you guys an updated guide and everything like that and not only that I will also be showing you guys how to upgrade the wind staff once again this is going to work whether you wanna play the original Origins in Black Ops 2 or the Origins Remastered which is a part of Zombies Chronicles aka DLT5 on Black Ops 3 Zombies and we're very very close to actually get DLC 5 so get hyped and all the steps are the same and I will also include all other steps guide in the description so if you need help building them all everything will be linked down below and right off the bat I want to say this uh, by the time you're watching I'm not sure if this is going to be over but if you're watching this uh, right now I'm doing a giveaway for zombies chronicles a link for it will be in the description below as well check it out enter in it but hey everybody what the heck is going on my name is Usman and let's just get right into it now if you're new to the channel definitely do consider subscribing we do daily videos and live streams and we're going to kick this off in order to make the wind staff you need a couple of things of course like the parts and everything like that but we also need the gramophone and the black record because that will allow you to teleport to the crazy place where all the magic happens consider this a key to opening up portals now the gramophone always spawns in underneath the excavation side which is under the pack punch it's not the first thing you need to go and do but you definitely need it like I said earlier to open up portals and teleport and you also need the black record now there are three locations for the black record it's always going to spawn around the excavation side near the pack punch it's always always going to be around this area it's either going to be right here close to the mp40 spawn if you're playing the original origins or if you're playing origins remastered in black ops 3 yes mp40 is confirmed for origins remaster as well or it can be right right here as soon as you purchase this door very very easy to see or it can be on the flip side right here you will see by the boxes on the crates right here uh, near the crates I should say so that's the black record and this is a key if you guys want to open up the down part for the excavation side and that needs to be open so you can go ahead and build your staffs and get the normal unupgraded staffs. of course you need to get the unupgraded staff first in order to upgrade that so the black record is a key for opening up the down part of the excavation side and the gramophone is a mixer that will play that black record and it will be inside the excavation side to the right of the table or on the left side of the table very very easy to see and very very easy to get it's always going to be right here simply pick that shit up place it on the table and play that black record jam and it will open the stairways and you will be able to craft your staffs down there once you have the parts this needs to be done so do it while you're collecting parts and opening up the map and shit like that and as soon as you get this you can now go ahead and get the win staff record which is going to be at generator number five on the ledge near stamina up or on the boxes right here or down in the lightning staff tunnel these are all the three locations where the eye staff or I should say the wind staff uh, record can spawn in and it's always always going to be right here so once you have got this you can now go ahead and get the crystal or gem some people like to call it crystal other people and I myself like to call it gem when you want the crystal or the gem doesn't really matter you need to go through its original portal and the Winstaff portal is at generator number 4 near Juggernaut. Simply make your way down to the Winstaff tunnel and teleport yourself to the crazy place. Of course you need the gramophone and the Winstaff record and I showed both of you guys earlier so I'm assuming you do and teleport yourself to the crazy place and you will see a wild crystal appear out of nowhere. So get that shit, hold square F or X on that BS and get that shit and now we are on to the next step and we need three staff parts and all of them are going to spawn in each an individual robot head and in order to make your way inside the robot head you need to be actually looking forward to the robot foot and you will see that the one foot is lit up and the other one is not if the foot is lit up that means you want to shoot that and you will be entering inside the robot head if you don't see any light that means you do not want to stay under the robot foot if you stay of course you're gonna go down so simply shoot the one that is lit up go inside and you will see a wind staff part simply get that shit and now you need to repeat that two more times once you have all the parts and the gem you want to come down here to the excavation side simply come down here build your staff and now we're on the upgrading process now the first step to upgrade the wind staff is to actually make your way once again back to the crazy place and you will see uh, kind of like four rows of symbols and shit like that you want to shoot this row the the one that I'm shooting at right now and you want to input 
input correct symbols and the correct input symbols are going to be on the screen for you guys right now. The first one seems like a double L or double lines I would say and the next one is like double L uh, and the third one is going to be the apostrophe and the last one is kind of like L and apostrophe. These are the correct symbols and this is a very very easy process so simply look at it and shoot the correct symbols or shoot till you see these symbols and once you have done it you have done the first step. Now for the second step you want to leave the crazy place and you want to come up right here near juggernaut near generator number four and you will see a ball and you will see smoke coming out of it so you want to redirect that smoke to the excavation side so simply stay in the middle and shoot your wind step exactly where I'm shooting at exactly how I'm shooting and you want to redirect that smoke to the excavation side and there are three balls like this and this is the first one now the second one will be around the uh, tank station so simply make your way over to the tank station just follow me along uh, come up from here this is probably like the easiest and fastest way to actually get this done and once you actually make your way around the tank station you want to come up on this path right here and you will see another ball and you will see smoke is coming out of it so simply redirect that smoke by shooting your wind step at it exactly like how I'm shooting you want to stay in the middle shoot your wind step and you will redirect your smoke to the excavation side now that is number two and the number three one is going to be near stamina up so simply follow me along uh, stay on this path this is probably like the easiest and fastest way uh, to actually get this done uh, make your way over to the stamina up make sure there is no robot coming your way because you can very easily go down so simply make your way to the stamina up and you will see another ball this is kind of like a hidden one and you want to redirect that uh, redirect the smoke to the excavation side once again and boom you have now done the step two now the step number three is to actually go down make your way down to the excavation side and you want to turn stones till their color is yellow and there will be four stones and there will be four lever around this area you want to go in a circle and you want to find all these four levers pull each and every single one of them down till you see the yellow color and each one of them needs to actually show you yellow color so all four of them and once you see it shoot the ball underneath that and you have done the step as well and now the last thing you want to do is make your way once again over to the crazy place put your staff down and you need about 20 kills once you get 20 kills you can go ahead and pick that win staff up and voila you now have the upgraded staff if you guys have found this video quick and informative give it a like subscribe if you're new to the channel check out some other staff guides on the channel if you guys need help building them as well enter in the giveaway while that is going on and I'll see you guys very freaking soon